Good afternoon, everyone. So this afternoon, I would like to give a testimony from God, an encounter from Him through the Voice of Youth ministry. Being in Voice of Youth is fun, not because it is an experience of living in far places for weeks with new friends to hang out on, or a vacation to test our independency and be free. Rather, it is fun because it is an experience of surprises, not knowing tomorrow's miracles with faith and current promises. It is rather fun because you can encounter, experience, and be in love with the greatest friend you'd ever had, Jesus. This this AY program, I would like to share to you my experience with my friend, Jesus, through, the, through this Voice of Youth ministry. This Voice of Youth is my second in form, but my first in substance, since this is the first Voice of Youth that I started and finished it with its date. I was the prayer coordinator of the group in Bamban, Infanta, Pangasinan, in Region 3. A virgin territory where there are no Seventh-day Adventist church, so we are like planting a church there. As I said, I was a prayer coordinator, and God let me remember one of our short devotions in one or of United Prayers here in AUP. They're at Seote Kuba every Friday. The real work is on house-to-house -house activities. No. The real work is on Bible studies. I don't think so. The real work is on the nightly meetings. I don't think so either. The real work is on our knees. The real work is on prayer. The Bible said, you shall receive power. But how can we receive but how can we receive power if we don't ask for it? Or we don't even know what that power is? Or do we really need this? We had been inspired by the Holy Spirit to conduct three united prayers in a day. Every soul that we are visiting, every family was lifted up to the Lord. But honestly, one night, I myself needed to be lifted up because I was afraid on my responsibility. The first three days, I got a hard time coping with my environment and the people around me. Honestly, I felt down, knowing that my, some of my colleagues are already veterans. They already had 10 and above Voice of Youth experiences, 11, 18. And they said, I haven't tried anything that they can do. They are, so, they are so good in befriending strangers. How can I do that? I can't even, I don't even experience that thing. I don't even know how to Bible study. And I was burdened with the fact that I was the leader of one of the Bible study group. Well, none of the Bible study that were going out, three groups, and I was the leader. I said to the Lord, agad, agad, Lord. <laughs> but, but one night, I poured, my soul, I poured my soul to the Lord. And he let me realize my mistake. That all along, I took this work as a mere responsibility. A heavy laden because I bear it myself. Where there is Jesus the God of heavens and earth, to help me out. I do visitations, Bible study, and leading it because I need some reports. It was not from the abundance of my heart. Jesus had break me and had built me once more. After that prayer, Jesus had taught me, now 
I serve not out of a command or responsibility. I am serving because I am loved. When we do visitations and Bible studies, those people had tears in their eyes. And I don't know why. A friend said, you have a talent of appealing to people. That's a rare talent. I do not know how to do Bible studies. I do not know how to make an appeal. I haven't done anything like that before. But God is so good that he had equipped me abundantly. An instant talent had been given. A rare talent so much that I cannot boast anything from it. And the promise is that, go, for I will be with you always. What a sweet promise. I will never leave you nor forsake you. <clears throat> for I love you with an everlasting love, the only forever in this world. One night, while we were preparing for the nightly meetings, where we had our attires on, ready to start, the place get darkened, and it was brown out. We had fell on our knees, we are weak, asking God for his mercy to restore the electricity. We went to the court with faith that God will restore the, the lights. As usual, the court is rectangle, and I sat on the corner. I am timing God. I said to him, Lord, you got five minutes to go before seven o'clock. Please turn on the lights. Four minutes passed. I whispered again, God, you have one more minute. I'm waiting. And guess what? The lights had not been restored. I whispered a prayer once more. Not our will, but your will be done. Please deliver us in your way. We started without electricity. And God, that, and we can see that God is working because there are still people who went there. The message in song for the preparation of the message had been sung. And Queer Jacob, our speaker, got already the mic, the microphone, and he was ready to start. But before even speaking a word, the lights were restored. All of us were amazed and had thanksgiving in our lips. I was rebuked that time because I was putting God in a box. As if I was teaching him what to do. But God showed me how big he is. How his ways are higher than our ways. And how his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. Had the lights been restored before starting, it's only us that could benefit. There was, I remembered one man. His name is Quiaroli, a man with age ranging 32 to 35, taller and with big tummy because he was a drunkard. As if he could not go in a day without a gin. He was known as the black sheep of that place. He smoked, he had a lot of girls in his hands. But guess what? Kuya Rolly had been one of those converted souls that stood up on the last night. There was a commotion amongst the people because every time he went to our nightly meetings, he was drunk. He would shut out his feelings and his emotions and we were disturbed. And we can't even understand how God has converted his life. Come, see, hear, smell, feel, and
can taste that the Lord is good. You don't need to wait for a voice, voice of youth experience. Right now is the best time. Start it on your knees. Pray for your friends, roommates, and especially pray for your relationship with him. Have you received a miracle? Even one? Prepare for the greatest miracle ever performed by the divine power. According to the inspired pen Ellen White in the book Evangelism, page 289, paragraph 2, the conversion of the human soul is the greatest miracle ever. The conversion of the students here in AUP is the greatest miracle of God. Don't look for other miracles. Be the greatest miracle.